our next guest is a force to be reckoned with. She's a former UFC champion, current WWE superstar. She's now starring in a new movie with Mark Wahlberg called Mile 22. Would you please welcome Ronda Rousey. You have enough going on. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> what's, this, what's this about the Browsy Farm? Browsy Acres? Browsy Acres. What is that? Um, that's me and my husband are trying to make our, our property self sustaining, and it's a, an ongoing process. Mm -hmm. And so right now we got. We got five goats, 11 chickens, uh, four turkeys, eight ducks, a steer, that's Kobe. And uh, he, he likes going out in the, in the evening. <laughs> so, so you're just a farmer at heart. With everything that you have going on, you're a farmer at heart. Uh, I, I mean, you could call you could call it farming. I call it like zombie apocalypse doomsday prepping. <laughs> <laughs> Only because like it, it sounds a little like boring. Like Like, oh, I just want to like, you know, Go green and like I don't know. I'm just trying to make going domestic like a little bit more exciting for myself. So I just throw a zombie in there. Like possibility of zombies. It's the same situation. So I just I need to learn how to garden. You know? Love your sense of humor. Always. <laughs> so let's talk about mile 22. You and Mark Wahlberg, super secret CIA team. Yep, black ops. Black ops, as People. black as it gets. Yeah. <laughs> you guys want to see some of it? Yeah. training and I hear it happened at the zombie apocalypse house <laughs> not exactly but it was the closest thing to it um, Pete Berg wanted me he's our director he didn't want me to be so recognizable as me so he didn't want me doing hand-to-hand -hand combat he wanted me to learn tactical gun training and so we had a Navy SEAL and Army Ranger take the cast and we had an abandoned hotel and like real guns oh. and blanks and they're like running us to the building and showing us how to clear the building and like all the concepts and everything they use so it's a great time oh, yeah. yeah you're totally <laughs> Ready for the apocalypse? Yeah. Not, no one is totally ready. Yeah, that's the good thing, though. No one's totally ready. It's always like more work to do. You know? Did you? Did you I'm sorry. Did you practice at home? Practice. I did, and I would like walk around like this, and like like practice going around like, and I would explain it to like my, my kids and my husband of like you know they don't care about like okay when you go around the corner you go like this because you don't want to like your shoulder to get out so you kind of like, peek out like that and I'm like running around like the house like and then you go from this way and you scan and like yeah it was uh, yeah they, they they put up with a lot. With it, me. It's reminiscent of your days in the UFC when you were doing that you know like that. A little different. A little, a little different. Little different. And now WWE. How are you enjoying it? Oh, it's such a great time. We got a. Uh, SummerSlam coming up uh, August 19th. Yeah, yeah Friday. And um, yeah, it's not it's not work. It, it really is. I just have a great time every single day, and that's it. What are the major differences and similarities between the two? Um, I would say that uh, WWE is much more like like movie fight choreography. It's much more like that than, mm -hmm. than fighting. Um, I'd relate it more to like Broadway where everyone does their own stunts mm -hmm. and everybody learns the lines like right before they go out there and all the fight choreography is pretty much made up on the fly. Wow. But for, cool. I'm not that good though. A lot of people make it up on the fly. I, I need some more preparation. <laughs> you're you're, you're, you're pretty good. good. We're seeing that. Yeah. How good you are next? You really are. You really are. Yeah. You're so good that you might have built a little bit of a fan base up. Uh, let's just say we've got some young girls. And I want to go, uh, let's walk, because we want to surprise them. They are with the organization Beat the Streets, and they're huge oh. fans of yours. Right. They think they're here. Rhonda, let's walk this way. We're walking. They think they're here 
because uh, they're doing another wrestling segment. They, okay. but they have no idea you're here, but again, you're like their biggest hero. So I know that you've been wrestling for quite some time. Have you, when did you know you wanted to do this? When you were in high school, before then? Uh, what's this? There's a lot of things. <laughs> well, wrestling. I mean, oh. when did you first get involved? And that's true. I should, I should specify <laughs> the wrestling part of it. Um, I never really thought it was a real possibility until like, I don't know, like last year. But oh, really? Yeah. So this is pretty cool that these girls already have it figured out. This is what they love. This is what they want to do. All right, so I'm going to let you do the honors. Go ahead and knock. Okay. All right, let's open the door. Hi, guys. Hi. How's it going? Hi. What's up? Hi. I'm just wrestling in here. Look at this. Oh, it's Rosa Rosie. Rosie. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so look at this. We've got your hero Hi. here. Would you guys like to ask Miss Rousey anything? Hmm. Is there hmm. anything to ask? Uh, <laughs> it's your big chance. Putting you on the spot. Um. Um. How has the transition been from UFC to WWE? Oh my God, it's it's so fun. It's just fun all of the time. It's really cool. Like, um, it's cool going into like all the old venues that I used to fight in, and like you know how how like you are when you're going into like a competition or something. You're like in that mode, and it's like you're really serious, and it's like anxiety and excitement and all these things. And I go back in the <clears throat> into the same venues, and it's like do 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 do. Like it's a completely different feel of like just no stress at all. Like imagine you got all of the great stuff out of wrestling without any of the anxiety of competition. Very cool. And by the way, ladies, did we get you? Did you think you were here just for your wrestling and not because yes. you were going to be Ronda? <laughs> so the surprise actually worked? Yes. Uh, we'll let you guys get some pictures, I'm sure, with Ronda. You'll want to do that in just a bit. But Ooh. I'm glad we got you. And I'm glad it was a good surprise, right? Yes. OK, good. And you guys have some nice moves, by the way. Keep it up. Yeah. I appreciate that. All right. By the way, Mile 22 yep. hits theaters August 17th.